Hey everybody, it's Jason again, and welcome to the third edition of Tailgate Talk. Uh, it's the end of the day. Just want to talk to you about some things. Tonight we're going to talk about your torches, matey. But more importantly, we're going to talk about propane oxy torch setups. All right? The advantage to using propane over uh, acetylene is it's way cheaper. Uh, a propane tank is lighter. Uh, I don't know if you've ever tried to pick up an acetylene tank. They are extremely heavy. Um, you don't have to worry so much about how you handle the propane tank versus how you handle an acetylene tank. Acetylene tank has to be straight up and down. It can go at a 45 in some instances, but if you accidentally lay it down flat, you got to stand it back up. You can't use it for 24 hours. And the main thing, which I like, is let's say that you're working on a project. It's late Saturday night. You just ran out of propane. What do you do? You go down to the 7-Eleven, Lowe's, Home Depot, new totem store, um, Family Dollar, Dollar General, wherever. Everybody sells propane. Grab you another tank of propane, it's 20 bucks, go home, get back to work. You can't do that with acetylene, all right? If you know of a welding supply store that's open late on Saturday night or Sunday afternoon, let me know um, that that's not gonna happen. Um, so the propane's cheaper. The oxygen is still gonna be the same. Uh, an oxygen tank is gonna be one of your bigger investments in the setup. Uh, oxygen tank is going to cost you about 150 to 200, maybe 250 to, to purchase. Uh, it will be filled the first time, uh, but when you have to take it back, you can get it filled for about 35, 40 dollars uh, for some more oxygen. Uh, and you will run probably five tanks of oxygen before you even start getting low on your propane. All right, so oxygen's cheap. You can get it at your welding supply place pretty easily. All right, so working our way from the tanks down to the torches, we're gonna start talking about the regulators. All right, so you're gonna need an oxygen propane regulator set. All right, how you can tell those apart is the propane regulator is usually orange and it'll say LP gas, propane, natural gas, something like that. It is reverse thread, uh, like anything else, propane. Um, and it, it, it fits right on to, you know, the end of your propane tank, All right? And then uh, don't forget your flash arresters. Flash arresters are made to either go on the regulator end of your hose or on the torch end of your hose. I chose to go with the uh, regulator end style because I knew that I was going to have quick disconnects on my hose and I don't want this much of hardware sticking out the end of my already too long torch. All right, so flash arresters. So you got your tank, regulator, flash arrestor. Now you got your hose. The hose, don't forget that when you go to propane, it has to be a type T, type T hose. All right. It'll look the same, but when you're looking on Amazon or wherever, make sure that you check it and that it's a type T, all right? At the end, I highly suggest these quick disconnects. These things just pop on so easy. Boom, it's on there. Look at this. Boom, it's off. Wrap everything up, get out of there. And, and they are set up They'll say oxygen and gas, all right? So you can't accidentally switch them around on your torch. They can only go on one way. Speaking of the, ho uh, the torches, okay? You can use the big giant Victor Journeyman like this one or the smaller Victor style, or you can use Harris, you can use Smith, you can use Harbor Freight, whatever. The torches, themselves do not care what kind of gas you're using. But the only difference is the tip. 
on a propane style tip it's a two piece okay you got the inner nozzle and you got the little outer shroud all right that's what it looks like the uh, a benefit to these is they're cheaper they're a lot cheaper than the regular acetylene and oxygen tips that you would normally use. Also, you don't have to have one of these little file sets so you, that you can clean out the holes. You just take it apart, you take your wire brush, brush the debris out of those grooves, put it back together, stick it back on your torch, you're good to go. So what's the big difference? Okay, you can still cut with oxygen propane, you can cut several inches thick. You can get a number six tip and cut like five inches thick. Um, you can cut a train track in half if you want to, or you can go all the way down to a triple lot, which is really small, and you can cut quarter inch almost as fast as using plasma. Um, I have a plasma, but if I'm doing something mobile, not in the shop, I don't have uh, an air compressor on here to run my plasma uh, so I have to use a torch which is okay I love using torch um, so that's pretty much it uh, you can cut with it you can braise with it you can put a rosebud tip on there and heat up the metal to cherry red and just bend it I can I can heat up a piece of half inch rebar uh, to cherry red in about I don't know 15 20 seconds and just bend it like rubber all right very helpful so um, when it's all said and done the oxygen tank is gonna set you back let's just let's just say two hundred dollars uh, the regulator sets gonna be at about another hundred dollars the hose uh, 50 bucks for you know a decent 25 foot hose uh, torches you can buy them used if you buy one used uh, which there's nothing wrong with that because they last forever but take it down to your local welding supply place and say look I just bought this torch used can you go over it can you look through it check it out make sure all my o-rings are good once they do that it's ready to go for years um, or you can just buy new you know, you buy a new torch. Um, so you're gonna have $400, $500, you know, uh, you know, something along like that, you know, set up on it. But um, again, uh, the propane has the advantage over the acetylene as far as availability, cost, um, usability, handling, anything like that so uh, that's about it for tonight uh, it's late I'm tired I'm dirty uh, so let's go get cleaned up and um, look make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be putting out maybe two tailgate talk videos a week hopefully um, so make sure that you subscribe hit that notification button so that you'll know when I make a new video and um, let's go get cleaned up, get some food, get some rest, because tomorrow's another day. Thanks for watching.